Welcome to PC Perspective. We are back today to talk about the second graphics card release based on AMD's new Southern Islands GPU architecture, the Radeon HD 7950. It offers much of the same feature set as the more expensive Radeon HD 7970, but let's see how performance and price differ. When AMD first unveiled the HD 7970, it was its first completely new architecture in a few years, and the Radeon HD 7950 takes those same features, lowers the shader count and clock speeds a bit, and will sell for about $100 less. The physical appearance of the reference Radeon HD 7950 is exactly like the HD 7970, though we should note that the retail cards based on this design will likely not use the reference configuration, and instead you'll see custom coolers from the likes of XFX, MSI, ASUS, and more. The GPU under the hood though is what matters, and it is based on the same 28 nanometer 4.31 billion transistor Tahiti GPU with four of the compute units disabled, giving us a total of 1,792 stream processors. The standard clock speed is 800 megahertz, though you can expect to see quite a few retail overclock models to hit 900 megahertz on day one. The texture units see the same decrease ratio going from 128 to 112 on the HD7950, though the ROP count, memory bus width, and frame buffer remain the same. The 7950 still includes a total of 3 gigs of memory on board, assuring the best performance in ultra-high resolution and multi-display gaming, and it runs at 1250 MHz. The output options include a dual-link DVI connection, full-size HDMI port, and two mini DisplayPort connections. The 7950 can support three displays today and will be able to push six total when DisplayPort hubs are released in 2012. For power, it requires dual 6-pin PCIe connections, and the pair of Crossfire connections up top allow you to combine as many as four GPUs. With an MSRP of $449, the HD 7950 goes head-to-head -head against the more expensive GTX 580 from NVIDIA, and in general, comes out ahead. In Battlefield 3, the two cards run on par with each other. In Batman Arkham City, the HD 7950 leads by 5%. And in Metro 2033, the difference is 16%. While the Radeon HD 7970 had a pretty large performance lead over the GTX 580, the new HD 7950 is a bit closer to it. Still priced at $450, the latest offering from AMD brings better features, including support for three displays, and slightly better performance, up to 15% or so on some titles, for a lower price than the GTX 580. If you are looking for information about running these cards in Crossfire, you should check out our other video review linked right here. And of course, for all the technical information and testing on the HD 7950, check out the full review on PCPer.com. I'm Ryan Shrout for PC Perspective. Thanks for watching.